What is up, YouTube? Carl here. Welcome to the vlog. This is the channel where we talk about mostly sneakers and tech. And today, we're going to do one, two, three, four, five. An unboxing. If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please make sure that you do so because we constantly give away sneakers on this channel. So subscribe now, follow me on IG, hit the link down below for the latest giveaway mechanics. Let's jump right into it. So I mentioned last, I think a few vlogs ago, that I actually broke already my L streak. So I won something. It's been a while since I won a raffle. And this is the one from Commonwealth. This is the acronym uh, Nike Presto Utility. Um, and I won this on a waitlist raffle so it, it it i already thought that i lost so i just got a notification the day after that they were doing a second wave of raffle for the waitlisted pairs and i was so fortunate to be part of the winners so here you have it this is the box it's in black with the nike logo and embossed uh nike all over there's and then you have the usual tag here on the side this one sold for i think 9,800 pesos, so it's a bit pricey, uh, but it is worth it in my opinion. So if you just pop it open, as you guys see there, you get straight to the shoe. Let me just take it out so you guys can see it. Now, I've actually already unboxed this before uh, because I broke it in the other day because I'm currently working on the review for this pair. So here you have it. This is the Nike acronym uh, Presto Utility Mid, so it's in the black and gray colorway. So I actually preferred getting it in either of the two color, well, two out of the three. This is my second choice. My first choice was the white with the vault accent here at the top, but I am not complaining because I am really happy that I just have this in my collection. It is so amazingly comfortable. I was so surprised with how comfortable this sneaker was when I tried it on the other day. And man, I, I am just blown away with how good of a pair this is. Uh, I also kind of, in hindsight, am loving the fact that I got the safest color, this one, because it just means that I can wear it so much more often than the pink one or the one with the vault accent. So again, uh, Shout out to Commonwealth for doing their weightless travel because I wouldn't have won uh, without them doing that. So yeah, W. This next unboxing is for the men in the house. So, <laughs> and when I say the men in the house, I mean for people who not, don't necessarily love sneakers, but love high quality men's shoes. So not sneakers, shoes. This is the Alden work boot. And this is one of the best boots that a man can buy today. This one sells for 30,000 pesos here in the Philippines. Ulitin ko po yun ha, 30 mil, 30,000 pesos for a friggin' boot. And I will be doing a more complete review on this one in the coming days. But I just want to unbox it for you guys. Uh, this, is, this is something that has been my to-buy list for a while now. And I've been saving up for it. Because unlike, I don't think a lot of you know this, but I have a really massive uh, boot and dress shoe. Well, not necessarily dress shoe, but I have a lot of formal shoes. And this is a boot that I've been saving for for the longest time. But anyway, it's a pretty much straightforward box. Just says Alden. And if we, it is really heavy. And if we pop it open, whoo, it has a really cool looking dust bag. So one dust, dust bag per shoe or per boot. And here you have it, man. Whoo. I, I'm, I'm just at a loss for words. This looks really good. And the leather quality is amazing. Whoo. Bango. <laughs> a bagong leather talaga. But anyway, now this sneaker is expensive for several reasons. Number one, the craftsmanship. Number two, the quality of the materials. And number three, probably the history of the shoe. This was actually the boot of Harrison Ford uh, when he did Indiana Jones. And that's why it's called the Indiana Jones boot. But, but yeah, uh, I will be doing uh, a review on this boot in the coming days ahead. If you guys are interested in buying one, they're available over at Signet in Rockwell Power Plant Mall. Can I just say that the most expensive shoe in this uh, unboxing series came really in the most subtle and unassuming and plain looking box. Going back to sneakers, this is from the Adidas Sneaker Consortium and I picked this one up from Commonwealth as well. And this one is special because this was a pair that I initially thought sold out and I wasn't able to buy. 
but when I dropped by Commonwealth a few days ago, it just sat there and it was sitting there in my size. So it was an Insta Cup. Uh, it was something that I've had my eye on for the longest time. So it just so happens that it was just there and had the budget and I picked it up. So again, it comes in your usual typical sneaker consortium box, which is all white with the handshake. Uh, you have Adidas on the side. You have the shoe information here. Uh, and then it's just, it's a typical consortium box where you pull it out, it says respect is mutual down here and then you get to the sneaker. So let's just unbox it so we can go straight into it. So here you guys have it. This is the Bodega Sobakov and it looks ridiculously amazing. I mean, look at that. This one sold for 8,000 pesos and if you ask me, it is so worth it in terms of style, build, and quality. And take note guys, I, I've, I've actually already reviewed the Adidas Sobakov, the plain OG model. And this one is so much more comfortable than the OG model. I don't know if it's the material, I think it's the materials that they used and how, how the cushioning of the midsole is better, but this is probably two to three times more comfortable than the OG Sobakov. So if you're a fan of the Sobakov, you guys have to get your hands on this one because this is so comfortable. I mean, wow. Ah. Speaking of, I'll probably un-DS this today and wear it. Let's keep going. This next pair is something that I copped from Soul Academy over at VGC. This is probably one of the best uh, chunky sneakers that you can get for under 5,000 pesos. And this one happens to be from Nike. This is the Nike M2K Techno. So as you see, it comes in the usual Nike red box. And if you pop it open, there's nothing special about the unboxing. Let's just go straight into the shoe. It is one of the nicest looking dad shoes, guys, that you can get for under 5,000 pesos. I mean, what? That looks sick, right? The black, the white, the, the, that sharp blue accent here at the back, that pinkish, almost reddish pop near the heel of the midsole. It just looks freaking amazing. I mean, wow. And then take a look at that outsole. And man, this just sells for 4,900 something pesos, I think. And this is so comfortable because the padding that they have all around the collar is just so plush. It's just so thick. And wow, I mean, you, there, there are really a lot of great sneakers coming out these days that are under 5,000 pesos. Regardless if it's dad shoes, if, it's, if they're runners, or if they're just everyday like walking casual shoes. And there's a lot of them. And, and I think the great thing about that is that most of these styles uh, are probably, you know, patterned after the most either trendy or the more classic style. So for example, if you want like a classic everyday sneaker, uh, you have the Continental 80s. They sell for like around 5,000 pesos. If you want like chunky sneakers, you can go with this one. It's just like it lasts less than four, less than 5,000. You can either go with this one or you can go with the Young one or the Young 96 from Adidas. My point is, you don't have to spend a lot to get the sneakers, the style of the sneakers that you guys are looking for. You don't have to spend insane amounts of money, for example, on a Yeezy Wave Runner 700 or a Yeezy, you know, 500 for a for a nice looking dad shoe. You just go with this one. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. It looks amazing. It looks great. And you won't leave a burning hole in your bank account, in your wallet, just to be able to pick one up. So again, this one came from Soul Academy. There's also an all-white version, so you guys might want to check that out as well. I saved one of the best for the last. Uh, this isn't a... Well, I, I think it qualifies as a sneaker, as a cross of a sneaker and a dress shoe. So this is the Colhan 3.0 Grand. So this is the latest Colhan sneaker or Colhan shoe. And I was so excited to pick one up when I saw the announcement that it was already available over at the, at the Rockwell branch in Power Plant. So this one is a 3.0 Grand Wing Oxford in marine blue. This one sold for 15,900 pesos. So yeah, again, it's pricey, but that's what you get with cold hands. So let's just pop it open so you guys can see what it looks like. Uh, there are actually several colors and there are also leather versions. This one is the suede version. Uh, but if you want leather, they have a bunch of leather uh, cold hands as well. So here you have it. This is the cold hand 3.0. 3.0 grand. So the upper is different compared to the usual cool hands uh, that you have. So the design is cleaner. The design is easier to wear compared to, again, a lot of the previous designs that they had. But I think the biggest difference that came out with the 3.0 grand is their midsole. It looks funky. I mean, it looks really different. There's this gaping hole in the middle, as you guys can see there. So there's that, that space 
here but there is support here but here on the on the medial side there's none so it kind of reminds me of the pod 3 3.1 of adidas uh, but yeah so i will be doing a review on this one and i'll probably compare it to a lot of the contemporary sneakers that we see today like the ultra boost and stuff like that just for the heck of it i'm not sure if people would would want to watch it but i would being a cole hand and sneaker fan myself so there you have it this is the cole hand uh 3.0 grand in marine blue there are also several colorways there's the there the gray one with the yellow accent at the bottom there are a bunch of leather versions so if you want formal leather shoes that have this kind of aesthetic that have this kind of style you might also want to check that out uh, over at Coolhan at Rockwell Power Plant Mall. So there you have it. Those are the sneakers and shoes that I wanted to unbox for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you had fun. Um, moving forward, I will be announcing the winners of the Kobe Bryant a draw tomorrow. So that's on a Wednesday. Uh, reason being today is just so full and I couldn't make a video to be able to draw the winners for that as well as the Katha bag. So again guys, the winners will be drawn on Wednesday. So that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Peace. God bless. Woo.